Hey guys, Robert here with the Piss and Slap channel and you're probably thinking it's dark, I can't see anything. Uh, I assure you, I'm on the DRZ. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick up. And I gotta remind myself to speak up when I'm uh, when I'm talking because uh, the new filter I got in here keeps the wind down, also muffles my voice down a little bit. It's almost like I gotta scream at you guys. But uh, I, I'm gonna do this video uh, un, uh, unfiltered, I guess you would say, or unedited, as far as uh, any kind of enhancements to improve the video quality. Um, or maybe what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show you. This is the stock uh, 2003 DRZ Model E headlight. And uh, as you can see, it is uh, super awesomely bright. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, Clip the audio, or not the audio, but the video here, and I'll show you what it looks like when you uh, go through and enhance the um, the lighting, so that way um, you guys can see what it uh, what it looks like when you edit it. So that way, it's like makes it easier for you guys to see what's going on. Um, I can assure you, uh, from what I'm looking at, everything in front of me, pretty much where the headlight is, everything. The brush and everything is just kind of all blurs into like a, a, a real gray gold color. So basically what I'm seeing is right here in front of me. And uh, I had this problem and you guys are going to think, well, I see some lights. I see some uh, some pods down here. What's, uh, what's that all about? What's that noise? Well, I'm getting there. But uh, what I want to do is uh, give you a little backstory as to, uh, to why, what, how. Uh, a buddy of mine came across these, I don't anyway, uh, he uh, didn't want them, so he said, you want them, I'm just going to get rid of them. So sure. So for free, absolutely zero, I got these bad boys. Um, last weekend, last Sunday I went out riding, not last Sunday, uh, the Sunday prior, because um, it's Monday night now. Anyway, um, I was out way uh, in this general direction that my bike is pointed, but um, way out there. Uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna even show up any lights, but um, there were no lights where I was. It was retarded how far out I was, and I was by myself with this awesome headlight. Um, this headlight has never left let me down, and I'm sure uh, other riders that ride DRZs could tell you the same, that it probably just doesn't, it's not bright enough to like burn out, so. Um, there's that. And it suits you for riding at, well, I'm going like 18 miles an hour. So it's a, it's a fantastic headlight if this is as fast as you plan to ride and on these kind of roads. This is about as rough as you really want to go at 18 miles an hour. Um, so let's turn right here. Backstory is, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue my voice uh, so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. Uh, but I'm gonna roll uh, the footage from that weekend. Uh, we were out at uh, Indian Hot Springs out in the middle of BFE, and uh, it was 8:30. Uh, it's about that time now. The sun's gone down, and you just got that light ambient or ambient glow or whatever the word is. Um, and I was down in the bottom of this canyon, so it's dark, and I don't believe the moon was out that night. Um, but who cares? It was, it was stupid dark. And I love night riding, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love to ride at night. That nice cool air. Um, especially when I lived in Arizona, you know, it's a hundred and something during the day. And it dropped down to the 70s and 80s uh, through the evening. And it was beautiful. As you can see in the footage, it's, it's dark. It is retarded dark. Being retarded dark uh, makes it hard to ride, um, and I'm not that great of a rider to begin with. So to uh, to make it dark and make that I think uh, was a you know, level four trail that I was on by myself in the dark out in the middle of nowhere, and only two people know where I am. I should say one because the other one I told them where I was, and they still didn't know after I told them when I got home where I was because they were mad at me when I got home because I was out so late. <laughs> um, so you can figure that other one when I got home was, uh, well, I'm talking about my wife. 
gotta love her, but I wish she'd pay attention to when I tell her where I'm going because if I don't turn up, uh, I want her to come get me, maybe. Um, so, back to the lights. So, you can see we're, uh, we're just poking along on this trail, 15, 16 miles an hour. And it's, it's okay. It's, you know, the light's doing great, but, you know, just, I shouldn't say great. Well, it is doing great for this. But there's more to be had out there with the technology and advancements in lighting. Uh, our best uh, alternative for the DRZs with the uh, with the amount of uh, power that we have for that stator. Um, and I may be wrong, but I got on the internet and did a little bit of digging around, and I believe the DRZ, uh, this model, uh, is right around 12 to 16 amps of output. Um, they rate them in watts. I've heard anywhere from 140 to 200. Um, but watts don't really do it for me. I need amps. I just, uh, I'd like to know. Because uh, that's what they rate the lights at, is uh, amp output or amp draw. And each one of these uh, LEDs that I'm going to flip on here in a second, uh, they pull about, uh, I think the website showed 1.6 uh, 1.6 uh, amps. I don't know what that equates to in watts, but now I'm telling you right now, this light, it's putting a spot down there at the bottom of the hill, but let's, uh, let's fire up these LEDs. Now you're going to be uh, thinking that, you know, it's just going to light this valley up like Jesus just opening a door from heaven behind me. Um, these are flood beams, so they're going to put a lot of, they're going to disperse a lot of that light out to the sides and out in front of me as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and fire these guys up. And you can see now I'm, I'm leaning forward, so they're, they're quite a ways down. But now you can see the difference in uh, lighting. Stock beam, you know, everything's kind of dimly lit, but it's lit and it's doable. But there's better alternatives, and here's our better alternative. So let's, uh, let's go down so you guys can see this. And I haven't... Uh, I haven't wrecked yet with these uh, lights on yet. <laughs> this is a, it's a steep hill, guys, that I'm on too. So I just want you to understand that it's uh, it's definitely steep and it's loose. But now that we're uh, we're level, you can see uh, how much better that lighting is. Now the ideal, I guess, what I would do after just kind of looking at these is. Um, I would probably, I'd probably get one pod that's a spot beam because the way I have it set up is I've got the Tusk uh, Street Legal Kit on this DRZ, so I have a an aftermarket high and low beam switch. But if you just got a regular S model or whatever, and yours came with a high and low beam switch, what I did was uh, I used the headlight for low beam. That way I'm not blinding the crap out of everybody on the roadway because I am respectful. And I wouldn't want to be the guy on the other end of these LED lights. They're 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 bright if you stare at them, and if you're in a car trying to commute, it's uh it's nasty, you know, when you have to stare at that. Um, so what I did was uh, wired the uh, stock headlight to low, and then I put the LEDs on the high. What that's going to do for me is it's also it's going to cut down the uh, amperage demand and the watts demand, whatever amps, watts, however you want to look at it. It's going to cut it down so that way the uh, stator can keep up, you know, keep your battery charged, keep all your electrics running and stuff like that. And I'm sure I still have plenty of room in this DRZ for more electrical stuff, but, you know, I kind of like to refrain when I'm on this bike and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I want to keep it simple. Now, if I come across a spot beam, I, I think I would like to have a spot beam to get that out there a little bit farther, just because it's, uh... You know, if I'm going to be running a lot of light, I want to be able to see where I'm going because I'm usually riding really fast, especially at nighttime. And effective lighting, I can tell you right now, all I can see, um, it seems like the low beam, it put a spot out farther, but that's all it did was it just put a spot out there. So, you know, you had to kind of memorize what you, uh, what you saw 
because it's going to pa pass through a, a long, dimly lit course before it actually gets gets to you and you run it over and wreck like I normally do. Where the LED having the flood, it's lit from where it hits the ground all the way back to me. Uh, the sides are lit of the trail. So, you know, you got a good idea coming up on a corner or something. It's not going to be horribly bad. How I mounted mine, there's not really a mounting kit for them. I'm sure there's a company out there that sells something really stupid expensive. And, uh... So, what I did was the clamp, or the brackets that came on the back of the... Uh, the light actually were the same thread, pitch, pattern, uh, thickness, whatever you want to call as my bark busters where they uh, tag into the handlebars so I was like dude perfect so I um, I just unscrewed those and screwed those bad boys right into it mounted them sideways so I can pitch them uh, to the left or right and I've got two so you know if you're riding a, a canyon wall or something and you want to see more over to one side or the other I could uh, effectively push it over there and not be bending anything. The only bending I had to do is after I put them on, I needed to aim them down. Uh, and that could be a lot of reasons. That could be the suspension of the bike sitting in the rear is kind of kind of low. And as it gets darker and my eyes adjust, uh, I'm starting to be able to see a little bit farther out there, but still not like super duper far uh, it's not like I got a 55 inch uh, LED light bar above my head and I can just see everywhere I'm going so that's neat just a little extra light you know, and there's the city lights I don't know if the city lights are gonna show up but we're looking out over CUNA Meridian Boise Eagle all that neat stuff like I said, uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you a difference once here again. Low beam uh, back in the 2000s and today. 2000s, today.